Hello, Adolfo from Portainer here. So I want to show you how to deploy Portainer on DigitalOcean using their Kubernetes services and via the marketplace. So let's say you have a Kubernetes cluster here. In my case, I have one with four nodes and I want to deploy Portainer here. It's so easy. So all you have to do is you click on Marketplace, type in Portainer, and here we go. We have the Portainer Community Edition ready to be deployed. Click on Install App. And in this case, I'm going to select my cluster, the demo one. Click on install. And down here, we can check the progress of the installation of Portainer. It doesn't take long. It's almost done. Let's wait a little bit more. Let's see. Let me check one little thing. So when we deploy Portainer on DigitalOcean, we will get a load balancer created for your Kubernetes cluster. So we can access the Portainer interface. You can click here on copy. Let's open a new tab on my browser, paste that IP address and add the port 9000. And Boom, there we go. It's so fast and so easy. It's amazingly fast. No need to fiddle around with remote access, kubectl, command line prompt, none of that. I'm setting up a administrator user and Password. So this is the first step to finish deploying Portainer. Next, we have to connect Portainer to a Kubernetes cluster. It's just a matter of clicking connect. And here we want to allow users to use external load balancer and enable the storage option. Click on the Save Configuration button. There's one little last step that we have to do. We can go back to Marketplace and enable the Kubernetes Metrics server. Again, we can select an existing cluster, which is the one where you deployed Portainer. This is also quite fast. And there you go. That didn't take long. Now let's go back to our Portainer interface. Uh, we see here on our endpoints the Kubernetes cluster where we deployed Portainer. Let's uh, click on Cluster. We see the four nodes set up and enable features using metric server here. And there you go, it's done. So now I'm going to show you an even easier way to deploy Portainer on DigitalOcean. So here I am. Okay. DigitalOcean page, and I want to go to Marketplace, type in Portainer Community Edition. The difference is that here, when I click on Install App, I can click on New Cluster. So 
once we have this cluster deployed, call it container it's demo two. It'll come with container already deployed. Because it takes around five minutes to deploy. So my Kubernetes cluster is deployed and it's just finishing the installation of container. As in the first step of this video, the networking, we should see very soon. Oh, there you go. A second loan balancer. This is for the second cluster uh, I just set up, but with Portainer already deployed. So this is interesting because you don't need to worry about having to create a load balancer for your Kubernetes cluster. It gets done once you click on deploy Portainer right away. It's very, it's very easy. So let's give it just a few more seconds doesn't take too long well, let's close this one give it a few more seconds almost there okay this is the ip address of the load balancers for my second cluster so again just like in the first case now, before I do this, you can go ahead and before accessing the second cluster. Why not just change the order of things slightly? Let's install the Kubernetes metrics server before opening the Portainer interface on the second cluster we just created with portainers already deployed, we click on install. Again, that this is very, very fast and easy. Give it some minutes. I'll pause the video now. I'll be back soon. Okay, so my Kubernetes metrics server is installed on my second cluster. Uh, so again, like in the first case, we're going to load balancers, copy the IP address, paste it to my browser with the port 9000, create the administrator user, connect it to the Kubernetes environment. And here we can go and enable, allow users to use external load balancer, storage, oh, and enable features using metric servers right away. There you go. Here we see our second cluster. This one has This one has three nodes, and um, there we go. Again, this is how easy it is to deploy Portano on DigitalOcean. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.